Hey everybody, this is Don over at Johnny's Used Cars. Voted the best place to buy a car in Okinawa by the military community of Okinawa. Today I'm going to show this 2013 Subaru Legacy B4. This is new, uh, the new body design. It's got 91,000 kilometers on it, which is about 56,000 miles. Before I get started, I'd like to let you know that we do have on a lot discounts. So the price you're seeing on the website right now will not be the final price when you come on a lot. Also, if you're arriving in Okinawa soon or you just arrived, please make sure you stop by Johnny's Used Cars as soon as you can and have a look around. Even before you get yourself a driver's license, there are benefits of doing it that way. So with that, we're going to have a look around. I'll show you the features inside. But first, I'd like to ask you to please watch the video until the end. I do go over a lot of information in my videos. It's going to answer a lot of your questions. Things like the JCI, the warranty, the financing. I cover all that and more. So please bear with me till the end. You have all the answers. If not, please contact me or stop on by. The Subaru Legacy B4 is a five-passenger vehicle in the 300 series category. So the larger category. Road tax per year is going to be 19,000 yen, which is about $160 right now with the current exchange rate. Road tax is due every April, May time frame. So we're going to take care of it for you this year. You won't have to worry about it till next. Now you do have uh, two ways to pay for it. First one being US dollars cash out right, which could get you a larger discount. Or you take advantage of 0% financing for 24 months with zero down. Yes, we don't have a down payment requirement, but if you want to put something down, reduce your overall monthly payments, you can. A lot of our customers do like 500 to 1,000. Some do half, some do more. Up to you. Before we go inside, I always like showing you the rain guards. Rain guards will allow you to roll your windows down a little bit this way. If it rains, it's not going to get wet inside. More important feature benefit is you can give you a cross ventilation, get that extremely hot air out, and always get yourself a good windshield visor. So with that, let's jump on in. Let's get this thing started. All right. So uh, a key fob on your purse in front of the brake. It is a push start. Push that one time, and it goes. That's, uh... Oops, where is it? Oh, there it is. 91,121 on the odometer. Uh, showed a couple of warning lights. That one up there. Oops. Where is the power button? Audio off. Come on. There you go. What? Uh, audio off. Sorry, Troy. Okay. Uh, seatbelt, obviously where your seatbelts, they do give tickets on and off base. And then that one is your emergency brake. Now this one's a push button type. Uh, where is it? Oop, there it is. So, you're going to lift it up. Oops, sorry. You're going to push it down to disengage it. So now it went off. I right, pull it up. That's going to turn red. And now it's back. So that's your emergency brake, okay? And then, other than that, just a very simple, straightforward, straight head instrument cluster. And then pops up on the dash while you're driving. Please pull over, find out what it is, take the necessary action. Okay? Uh, off to the left here, in the middle, you do have a little display. It's going to give you outside temperature and the time. You got your, um, your radio. This one does have a rear camera. Little compartment here for some storage. Air conditioning controls. Again, a little uh, tray here, maybe for some coins or whatnot. You got your um, little power outlet right there. Your shifter, the e-brake, the cup holders, and a center console slash armrest that's going to give you a tray up top and then more storage underneath. Continuing to the left, you have your glove box here, and then a little bit of storage and cup holder on each door panel. That is your passenger space over there. You got your red row flare hanging out, and this is the space I have on my side. The seat is all the way back, all the way down. I am 5'11", as everybody loves knowing. Um, this thing has truly a lot of leg room, so I mean, I'm... I'm not even touching the, the, I mean, yeah, if I extend my foot out, I, I'm hitting the um, the gas pedal, but if I if I just leave it straight up, I'm not even hitting that. So I would definitely move this up about four inches to be a little more comfortable driving. Uh, let's go eye level. That's my eye level. I can see a sliver of the hood, not all of it. Go all the way back. Now, I'd like to take this time to show you the auction sheet, showing you that this is a non-accident vehicle from mainland Japan. Please keep that in mind, non-accident vehicle from mainland. Well, these other dealers out here can't tell you that. We can on all our cars, and some will actually try to discredit this. Stop by, we'll explain why. But this is graded number four from the auction with a C and B on the exterior interior. So it's a really good grade, very clean car. It's going to be up here on the sun visor, on the driver's side, so you can see that for yourself. Showing you a couple other items. Uh, this does have what they call the eyesight. I think this is... Um, don't quote me on this. It's a safety feature. Um, I think as you get closer uh, to something, it, it's going to break automatically. I'm not going to go into all of it, but uh, just do a little research. It's called EyeSight. Looks like it has a, um, a camera here. I believe that's what that is. Or what is that? 
All right, yeah, I think that's a camera. Uh, again, don't hold it to that one. Let's go over here. Door. So you have your mirror controls right here. Uh, this is for the controlling the uh, illumination of the uh, dash lights. Uh, this is auto uh, or idling off. I've always said it in the summertime, I'm not a big fan of it because it's going to turn the engine off when you're at a stoplight. And with this heat, it's going to uh, warm up the car. And then once the car starts after a minute or two, then you got to cool it down again. So I'm not a big fan of that during the uh, summertime, but it's obviously up to you. I believe that's a uh, traction control. This is a, a brake assist if you're on a hill. This guy right here is your ETC reader, electronic toll collector. This works like Easy Pass in the States if you're able to get the card for it for the expressway. And then all the way down here, you do have your uh, uh, hood release. And then please don't forget, uh, you have your gas cover release over here on the floor. And on the door panel, you have your door lock and window controls right there. All right, to turn it on, and it looks like it does have um, a cruise control. Not, you're probably not going to use it unless you're using the expressway uh, often. To turn it off, your foot doesn't need to be on a brake. You just push this one time, and it goes. Let's go to the back seat. All right. There we go. So, with the seat all the way back, and remember, I said I would slide this up at least four inches. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a good four inches away from here, three to four inches away from the back seat to my knees. Um, it does have uh, this net storage, net pocket, whatever you want to call it. Uh, just be careful what you put in there. It doesn't have a lot of give, especially on the sides. And then you do have a little bit of uh, storage and cup holder on each door panel. Uh, here you do have uh, some vents back here. Make sure this is in the up positions. This way you get in the air back here, okay, to help cool it down a lot quicker. And then you do have an uh, armrest that's going to give you two cup holders and it stays level, okay? Yeah, these newer body designs, they, they're just a ton of space in them for leg room. And of course it is the all-wheel drive for this one. Uh-oh. Forgot to do the, the trunk. Oh, there it is. So the trunk is right underneath the uh, um, assistant on the hill. Look at all this space. Huge trunk. Legacy style. Okay. Let's go to the front. We're going to show you the engine compartment. We're going to wrap this video up. There you have it. This is a, a 2.5 liter uh, boxer engine. Nice and clean. All right. And there you have it, 2013 uh, Subaru Legacy B4, new body design, 91,000 kilometers on it, which you get about 56,000 miles. Military price goes down to 6,900. The additional military discount will get it down to 6,700. Again, while you're here, please ask the information guy about on a lot discounts, and you will get a lower price on this. But for now, the 6,700 is going to include a two-year JCI, the one-year bumper-to-bumper full warranty, the 2023 road tax, and a 10% sales tax is already included. Only thing on top is going to be the American insurance requirement, whether they're going to liability or full coverage which is totally up to you, and we can assist you with that here. Touching on these warranties real quick, yes, there are two-year warranties out here. However, they're not the best thing since sliced bread, so don't be fooled by them. Stop by, we'll explain why. But we do encourage you to shop around, go to the dealer, see what they have, uh, check out the condition, mileage, and pricing of their vehicles, then stop by Johnny's Used Cars, let us show what we have, what our program's all about, and how it can assist you. We are definitely making a difference out here because we are different. One of the many reasons why we did win the Sergeant Strike Best Pacific Magazines, Best Place to Buy a Car in Okinawa Award. Stop by, we'll show you why, like we have many, many others. So don't forget two ways to pay for it. Use dollars cash out rate or take advantage of 0% finance of 24 months. Either way, we're good to go. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Hope to see you soon.